efforts going on to review and revise uh, those guidelines as well as the overall act to be able to bring it in line with the aspirations and expectations of uh, uh, the county as we evolve and become uh, much more uh, better managed, better controlled, better organized county. Uh, also, to liaise with other county departments and government agencies to establish treatment and rehabilitation facilities and programs for persons dependent on alcohol. Obviously, that is not uh, our objective to create dependence, but in the event that uh, we've got uh, this problem, then we take it as an accountability uh, of the county government through this board to establish uh, remedial uh, facilities where we can send our people, we can ask our people to seek help and to regulate the conduct of sub-county committees. This is the county board that is supposed to regulate the conduct of the sub-county committees, which is the various committees I had uh, mentioning and uh, talking uh, here before, and to oversee programs for public education and awareness creation on the negative effects of consumption of alcoholic drinks. You know, like for example, uh, there are people who like to, to say things like chafua meza, you know, you just fill up your table with bottles of drink and stuff. You know, habits like those need to be managed because of the impact they would have on yourselves uh, and on the people who, who, who uh, consume these, these drinks. And generally to ensure the implementation of the Liquor Act and the county government policy on liquor licensing. So a big mandate, big responsibility, but we are sure. We are sure because I can see some of you who helped us get into office. I can see some of you. And I thank you very much. I thank you very much. To review them, to receive and review, carry out inspections, supposed to confirm that the premises that you are licensing meet to minus. This is a big challenge that as a nation we are facing in Warsaw in Nairobi. It is the mandate of the board to ensure that minors do not indulge in alcoholic beverages. For decades since independence, those have been the perennial complaints um, other than pollution, uh, licensing of unlicensed bars and restaurants and hotels and estates has become a big problem and a big challenge. Um, the issue which is made, for instance, in the estates, when there's loud music, how do you expect our children to, how do you expect them to study? How do you expect them to go up to be the citizens and leaders of tomorrow? So we are looking to you to be able to streamline what has been happening in the past. Um, as the Chief has said, the Liquor Licensing Act is of 2014 and we are looking at how to do the amendments to include some of the issues that have been bestowed upon Nairobians because of the use and abuse of alcoholic beverages. Located far away from family residences. It is possible for us to move them and look at how we can have a nighttime economy, bring back the issue of clubs and bars back into the city. We have to look at innovative ways of how we can do this. Um, though one of your responsibilities is to generate revenue for the county, let's explore other options at how we can make sure that we do collect revenue, but not at the expense of the lives of Kenyans, Nairobians. As you enforce the law and, res and regulations, kindly identify the gaps and give proposals for reforms so as to enhance and transform all these facilities. Um, we recently had uh, a training and unfortunately today we are not able to have uh, our, our county assembly members who sit in the county liquor um, committee and we were exploring how we can make this license better and how we can make Nairobi work. And I shared with them, and I want to share it with you, that a study was done by the World Bank in 2016. 
and it showed that Nairobi, we should be collecting close to one billion in terms of revenue. So that is a challenge that I'm leaving to you as the new board. We have to find a way to raise the revenue and, and mechanisms to secure um, that even as we're raising the revenue, we are also within the law.